company. So I like to start off with the question, what exactly is My Assistant? Well, My Assistant is a task-based solution that distributes information from your Sage 300 CRE database to the right people at the right time, providing your key stakeholders with business visibility into the uh, topics that they need. My Assistant never takes a vacation, and My Assistant never misses a task. You can rely on My Assistant to deliver up-to-date information related to your business at any time. Your AP department will be notified when vendor insurance is about to expire. My Assistant will notify a project manager when your job is over budget. My Assistant can email direct deposit stubs to, email to employees after they get paid. When information is this readily available, it will lead to accountability across all divisions of your company. From accounting to operations, My Assistant will arm your staff with the information that they need to be successful. Today, we'll take a look at the different tasks that My Assistant can accomplish to provide those efficiencies for your business. So how does My Assistant work? Well, My Assistant is driven by tasks, and tasks can be broken down into three main components, condition, schedule, and action. <clears throat> when we're creating a new task for my assistant to carry out, think about what needs to be monitored or reported on. One example that I like to use is to monitor vendor liability insurance. Now, we wouldn't necessarily want to do business with a vendor if they don't have up-to-date insurance. That could leave us exposed to unnecessary risk. We can leverage my assistant to track the policies that are coming up for expiration. First, we consider the condition or the parameter of the record that we need. For this example, we want to run a report to return a list of vendors with their policy expiration date, but we only need those vendors that have an expiration date that is less than or equal to the current date plus 30 days. Now, consider the schedule. How often do we want to be notified? For this example, Let's be notified on the 5th of each month at 5 a.m. Keep in mind that when considering this schedule, we can also schedule a task to carry out after the conclusion of a SAGE program. So after we get out of accounts payable, run this to confirm that there are no vendors that have liability insurance that are expiring soon. Finally, we have to consider the action, and we have a few different options in terms of the actions that are available. For example, we could have the system email each vendor to let them know that their insurance is coming up for expiration shortly. Alternatively, you could have that email the back office and have all of that managed by someone within your company. So what tasks do you want to automate? There may be one or two tasks that catch your eye on today's demo. However, keep in mind that this system comes with over 300 pre-built tasks for the various modules within Sage. Once you implement My Assistant, your employees will start to ask you questions as to what's possible. Do you receive common questions on a monthly, weekly, or even daily basis? Well, now with My Assistant, we can notify someone when something happens or when something has changed. Perhaps we set up a job or in changed employee information. My assistant can send emails to customers, emails, tenants, property managers, and anyone else who may need to be notified. My assistant will regularly scan your data for and check on the fields that you deem important. So whether that be updating job records or the employee setup, Perhaps we want to send out direct deposit stubs, or perhaps we want to send a vendor bill um, to them via email automatically. You are probably managing all of these tasks in one form or another, but perhaps you forgot that Grace needs that monthly budget report. Did you remember to send out a list of past two invoices? How would we know if anyone updated the pay rate tables in payroll? Have you ever forgotten an employee's birthday? Well, now with my assistant, we will automate all of these processes so things are never missed. Project reports are automatically generated and emailed out to your key stakeholders in the field so that they are always up to date on their projects, allowing them to take action with data-driven decisions. 
And with that introduction, let's go ahead and jump on into the software here today. Uh, what you guys should be looking at currently is the My Assistant Designer module. I have gone ahead and opened up the My Assistant Designer for you guys here today, uh, but it also can be accessed from within your 300 construction and real estate solution. It will show up on the uh, list of modules here on the left-hand side. We can access those tasks from here within Sage, but we can also access it within the My Assistant toolbar here. What you're currently looking at are all of the different tasks that are available for My Assistant, but they are co currently collapsed here by category. So if we break open a category such as Accounts Payable, you will notice all of the different tasks that are available here for My Assistant. And this is just for Accounts Payable. So if we look at this first task here, we're looking at vendors with expiring workers' comp insurance. The reason it's bolded here is because I do have this task turned on currently. If we wanted to run this task, um, we could go ahead and run it right from here. But before we do that, let's go ahead and jump into it to see the different pieces. You can click, you can select that item and then click open or right click that and open the task right from here. And this will allow us to see the parameters that we've set up for this particular task. So with a bunch of the tasks that are pre-built, you'll get a general information tab here that will give you a description as to why this task was originally created. Keep in mind that the 300 plus tasks that come with My Assistant were originally a customer request. So all of these tasks have been used by real companies. Otherwise, we wouldn't have included them. Here we can see the name of that task, the category and subcategory if you deem. And then if you were to set up a new task, I would highly recommend that you include a description as to the purpose of that task. Now, if you recall from the slides, the first thing we want to consider is the condition. Now, this condition has already been set as this is a preset task. However, we could come down here to uh, check out one of the conditions that's been set. Um, this is how we can modify the existing condition, but I'll walk through, um, we could basically select conditions to be triggered for each of these. So for this example, vendors with expiring workers' comp insurance, the condition will be to look through all of our accounts payable vendors and return those where the workers' comp insurance proof required checkbox is checked and the expiration date has passed or will pass in a specified number of days. So a very specific condition that's set there. Next, we can customize those conditions. And so we want to see those AP vendors with expiring workers' comp insurance within a certain number of days. I'll leave that as 15 here today. Once we've established the condition, we'll then set the schedule. Now, as I mentioned before, you're going to have two options with the schedule. We can either set that up to run on demand where we click that, or at a predetermined time. Now, when you consider a predetermined time, we could set that up as a start date reoccurring on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis. Alternatively, we could run that at the conclusion of a SAGE program. So for example, you, we may want to run this task every single time someone gets out of accounts payable and finishes vendor setup. What that would do is trigger this task every single time someone gets out of accounts payable so that we're notified as soon as possible. Alternatively, you could set these up on an intermittent basis. The next section here is data folders. Um, what this is are the different entities that you're running out of Sage. If you just have one data folder, you'll just select that. But keep in mind that we can run a task on multiple data folders at the same time. No need to set up a second task. Next, we'll talk about the action, or what are we going to send that individual? Well, the way that my assistant delivers those reports will be via email. And so we'll first determine who's going to be receiving that email. You can set up email directories uh, within here, either from your address book or from your Outlook email. Um, we can set all of that up right from here. You can also set that up in the My Assistant Designer window. Here we'll then build uh, any attachments that we're going to include, such as a 300 construction and real estate report, perhaps a crystal report or another PDF document that we're working with. We'll set a subject there, and then you'll see on the right-hand side, we have a bunch of different records from within Sage, such as a vendor name or vendor address. So perhaps when we're addressing this, if we were sending it to a particular vendor, we could type in dear and then pull in the vendor name. 
or perhaps the vendor contact name. And that way, if we're sending this to multiple people, like an email directory, it's going to use the parameter in Sage within the body of your email. The next section down here is the list that's going to be accommodating uh, that particular email. Um, so we can see that for this example, we're going to be returning the vendor, vendor name, contact details, as well as the workers' comp uh, expiration date here. Now that we've built out the email here, we can come under additional information. Um, perhaps you uh, wanted to arrange these notifications by vendor or by customer. And then we have additional reports that can be included here as well. Under the notification options, um, we can, uh, you know, separate these tasks out and, you know, be notified when this task is run. So you can be an owner of the task, essentially. And then if you guys are curious about additional add-ons for my assistant, we do have My Communicator for Outlook available as well. And I am hosting a presentation on the My Communicator add-on for my assistant later this month. So those are the different options and different pieces of the task. And so we'll go ahead and close this out. If we were going to go ahead and run this task that I have here today, we can run it within the designer without sending those emails. So we'll go ahead and run that task. The task here, vendors with expiring workers' comp insurance ran, and it looks like there are 48 vendors that meet our condition today. Now, that's way more than I would expect you guys to have as I'm working with some demo data here today. But notice how we now have a list of all of those um, vendors that have expiring workers' comp detail. If we were to click Run and Send, it'll actually send that email out to uh, the different people that we determined. But I've already preloaded some that I'll share with you guys here today. And so the first that I'll show are, is that list of workers' comp insurance um, that we can email out to your AP representatives. Here we have a list of all of those vendors. So we can work our way down this list, contact them by their phone number, and then update the workers' comp expiration date within SAGE. So this is just one example of a list that can be sent uh, via my assistant. Um, perhaps you also wanted to send your unapproved uh, change requests. Um, so notifying your project managers by job as to all of the different change requests that they have available. Once the change requests are approved, we can turn those into change orders and then bill the customer appropriately. It would be very beneficial for those project managers to have this information readily available each morning. Another one that I'll show here today would be uh, cost codes over budget. Um, so perhaps uh, your project managers would like to be notified if they have a particular cost code that's running over budget for their jobs. This particular list is returning that estimate uh, versus the job to date cost and just returning those that the job to date cost has exceeded that estimate. So these are all just examples of different reports that can be sent. One of the most popular uh, tasks that are available are the pay stubs. And so we have the ability to include a direct deposit uh, notification via email to the appropriate people. Here we have that direct deposit notification, and this would be an example of the email that would be sent out here. And then you can see the PDF attachment that's included. Keep in mind that we do have the ability to password protect these documents as well. So the individuals that received this would only be able to see that if they had the password uh, associated with that particular document. So we can empower you to send out direct deposit stubs uh, for your different employees there. Another example that we have um, – oh, I just have another one of those uh, – vendors with expiring workers' comp insurance. Um, just a little teaser here today about the My Communicator. Um, if you would like to, to live connect this information here to your Sage, we can do that with My Communicator, effectively turning this into a live list. And so if anyone has updated that information within Sage, we would be notified. Uh, without the My Communicator, you will be stuck with this static list. Um, so that covers some of the examples that I wanted to show you guys um, for the My Assistant uh, tool here. Keep in mind that this system does come with over 300 pre-built tasks for various modules within Sage. So perhaps you want to see banks with ins insignificant cash, or perhaps you want to see a general ledger account that had too much money pulled out in a certain day. We can set those tasks as well. If we want to jump into, say, some uh, more general ledger type uh, ones, we can see some more financial information, such as, you know, accounts with prior year adjustments. Perhaps we want a list of those accounts. 
We could also come down to and look at our different job cost reports that we have available, such as the cost codes over budget or you know, cost codes that are over a budget based on their percent complete. So you can really see how we can start to get granular in terms of how we set up these particular reports that get sent out for my assistant. These are just the job cost ones here, and keep in mind that we can search against this list as well. So say you were looking for something specifically on billing, you just type in billing here and click find, and it's going to return everything that has to do with customer billing. So perhaps you'd like to email out all of your vendors a copy of their bill as soon as they're created. Well, we can use my assistant to empower that as well. Next thing I'll show here, just some of the service management tasks that are available. Um, so we have many customers that also run a service division within their company. And for those, uh, we do have some service management tasks as well. Um, so perhaps you're looking to uh, you know, send out um, a list of all of those work orders that have not been invoiced. Um, or perhaps we wanna do follow up for those work orders. So we wanna see those that have been invoiced in the last five days. All of these reports are very easy to set up with my assistant and we can distribute them out very seamlessly. Well, that is just about everything that I had to show you guys here today within the My Assistant module. So we, I will go ahead and jump back into the PowerPoint presentation here for just a couple closing slides. I wanted to first thank everyone for joining me here today, and I hope you uh, found the presentation uh, informative. And I want you to also just start to think of uh, some of those needs that you may have within your company. So, you know, perhaps you may be sending employees their pay stubs uh, via paper uh, today. You're, you're spending money on an envelope, you're spending money on a stamp, and we're mailing those direct deposit stubs. Now, with my assistant, we could simply, uh, you know, send those stubs to the employee and automate that process and even have that password protected. Quick recap, we did cover the overview of the My Assistant module here today, uh, talking about the different pieces of a task and whatnot, talked about how we can automate uh, your frequent tasks, and then we did show the My Assistant module in action, showing how we can uh, trigger those on demand as well as a scheduled task.